How do you write a great scene? Ooh, I think you should look at your scenes like you look at the whole screenplay and figure out the cause and effect of what does this scene cause to happen and how is it how is it the effect of what happened before it? Understanding that in every scene there is a goal, just like there is in the entire screenplay. The only reason we're seeing this scene is because it's getting you closer to or further away from your goal. And so if you look at it like there's a goal that has to be reached so that you can get to the next thing that gets to the next thing that gets to the next thing, then you end up not having scenes that are back to just regular activity instead of intentional action. Or even considering from an actress point of view when they're gonna play out that scene, one of them is winning, right? Somebody's gonna win in this thing in this scene, you know, it's kind of like, it's a fact, it's a fight. It's a ding, ding, ding in this corner and in this corner, these characters are gonna come and whatever it is that they're saying to each other, someone's gonna win emotionally, someone's gonna lose, someone might physically win, someone might lose. But what that means is now that emotional journey that I was on has been changed. Again, it's the cause and effect. So there might be a physical cause and effect, there might be an emotional cause and effect, or it might be both. But definitely looking at the little, looking at the scenes like they're little movies, right? Like, what is it setting up for me? What's the goal of this scene? And then how does it resolve to get me to the next thing? So if we were to take the hypothetical female character who was entering a singing contest, now she's found out that her mother needs this deposit to start treatment. Mm -hmm. So that great scene is going to be maybe her getting that news and then she knows that the contest is coming up mm -hmm. and all the things that she's gotta do to, I don't know, just because the stakes are risen. It's mm -hmm. not just like, oh yeah, I need it for my dorm room yeah. or I wanna buy a nice bag mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, so now her action because of that scene, because of that new information, her intentional action is going to change. So maybe before then she wasn't practicing very much because she's got a natural voice, you know? So she wasn't practicing very much. She wasn't finding any new songs. She's like, oh yeah, I'll just, I'll go up there, I'll sing, you know? whatever, because every time I sing this song, it's great. But now this thing has been a humbling moment for her, right? So now we're gonna see her going to her lessons. We're gonna see her trying to find the best song. Like she's gonna be putting a different kind of action into it because now the stakes are risen. Now there's uh, something, something more at stake, right? So now she's gonna put a different kind of action into it. So that thing is gonna cause her to change. Exactly. Mm -hmm.